Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be talking about the Wheaton Arms Compensator that you see here. Very nice product, excellent finish, just as you can probably see that just from looking at it from the intro shots. But what we're going to do is talk about how well it works, uh, some of the properties of it, what I think of it overall. Coming up next. about it that brake definitely keeps the muzzle on track i mean without question it's smooth shooting and as you guys can see just watching the video here not a lot of movement at all we've got the rifle loaded up with some red army standard uh 5.45 ammo so certainly there's no flash propellant in there at all we'll see just how this uh muzzle brake does in low light The brake is made of a nitrided stainless steel, and you can see here, despite being fired with lots of 7N6, the corrosive 5.45 ammo throughout the review, um, we do not have any sort of rust or anything built up on there. It's still going strong, and uh, it's really a basic design that works extremely well. Two port design with two chambers, I should say, as well. Um, and on top here, we have these two holes that are offset. They're offset 9.5 degrees. Um, and that's intentional, guys. It's not just playing tricks on your mind there. Um, that's to compensate for the uh, up and right recoil pattern that most AR rifles are going to have. It's going to keep it uh, really steady, not just in terms of muzzle rise, but also muzzle movement left and right. In terms of size, it's just a little bit longer than your A2 birdcage. That way it allows you to actually pin it to a 14.5 inch barrel and still get your legal 16 uh, inch overall length. As you can tell from getting that close-up look of it there, it really has almost no machine marks on there at all. Really, the fit and finish of it is just flawless. And uh, those of you that have seen a lot of nitrided or melanited brakes before uh, know that that's sort of hard to do, just the way the finish works. Any sort of uh, imperfections that it has uh, tend to become uh, magnified by that finish. So uh, definitely a good job there for Wheaton Arms on the fit and finish department. Um, in terms of cost, this is relatively expensive for a muzzle brake. Uh, this one comes to market, I believe the MSRP is $119. They're available at Wheaton Arms website as well as like some other websites out there. I know they do have distributors that carry their products. Um, so you may find it less there, but I believe $119 is what it's going for at least as of today. So a little bit on the expensive side, but the performance is very good as you guys saw here throughout the video in terms of keeping the muzzle flat. And uh, it does so with a relatively small profile compared to a lot of the other brakes out there on the market that are going to give you similar performance. Um, really, I think I hit all the high, high points. If you guys uh, have any questions about the brake or anything else I didn't cover here in the video, you can always post below in the comment section. You can also post over at my Facebook page as always. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. And I hope to see you in the next video.